Now, my first time doing mushrooms was the most scariest thing ever. And I gotta say, this story does get terrifying. But before we get into the story, I want to mention that no one should be doing drugs ever. This is a warning to everyone on the internet. Don't do drugs. Drugs are not good for you. They don't make you any cooler than anyone else. And honestly, to be honest, drugs only give bad effects in life. So don't do drugs. Face warning. I know how common it is to do it nowadays in 2023 or 2024, I should say now. But just don't do it. It does not get any better. And also, before we get into the story, make sure you guys press that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already seriously means a lot when you guys do and makes me be able to tell you guys more crazy stories just like this one so other than that let's just jump straight into this insane story yo what is going on you guys my name's bubba and welcome back to another embarrassing story so today's embarrassing story all starts off with me back in grade 10 now in grade 10 i remember this was the beginning of the school year and me i'm not gonna lie to you i didn't have many girls that i was talking to in the beginning of the school year obviously i came out as a changed man and i decided in that time in my life i wanted to say yes to things to basically lead to more adventure obviously if you guys are fans of this channel you guys would know that i've had many crazy adventures in my life but i remember this one specific time i will say was one of the times i regret it because i remember back when i was in grade 10 when i entered into one of my classrooms i saw that there was an emo girl inside that class now this girl the year before was an emo but this year she became emo i don't know if it's like a common thing to just transform into an emo girl but i remember i walked up to her and i started talking to her basically trying to catch up with her and see what in the world happened to her i remember she looked at me and she kept like saying like how like you know like i should just like you know just leave her alone because she's more innocent than me which i have no idea what that means but then i ended up looking at her saying innocent <laughs> i'm not innocent you're innocent compared to me she ended up looking at me smiling thinking that oh like you know i'm just talking out of my butt but in reality she had no idea what she was talking about well to be honest i don't think i had any idea what she was talking about because because i remember when i was trying to like riz her up she kept like saying how like she wanted me to prove that i do risky things in my life which i had no idea what that meant but then afterwards she told me okay how about this at lunch me and you we go to like the woods you want to go to the woods at lunch yeah why is that a problem i mean no i've done it there before i'm down to go to the woods she didn't look at me really confused on what i meant by that but in a way she didn't really care all i knew is that she had a friend at lunchtime that she wanted to hang out with going on i remember lunchtime came around and me and her we basically ended up meeting up in front of the school and she ended up bringing her backpack for some odd reason and i remember me and her as we were walking to the woods me and her we looked at each other and she asked me a question of hey like did you bring any food uh yeah i have my sandwich in my backpack and as i go and try to pull out my sandwich i remember this girl ends up grabbing it and throwing it away saying you're not gonna need that for what we're doing i wasn't planning on eating a sandwich during the devil's tango but i mean okay was what i thought in my mind originally but then as we got into the woods i remember me and her we basically sat down beside each other we sat down and she started telling me how far i wanted to take things today and i said well i mean i say yes to anything it's one of the goals of my life and i remember i ended up telling her how i basically wanted to say yes to anything how basically i want to pursue life saying yes so i could you know live a more basically adventurous life she ended up looking at me laughing as if i got that from like a movie quote or something and then she ended up pulling out a bag of mushrooms now when i looked at this bag of mushrooms honestly like i was so confused because i thought me and her were gonna do the devil's tango but she wanted me to eat her mushrooms i remember i looked at her and said i mean i eat mushrooms all the time but like why am i eating these mushrooms she ended up telling me how these are like magic mushrooms and how these could take me to a brand new world which i had no idea how that was possible from something that grew out of the ground but at the same time i mean the devil's lettuce is a thing so i mean it is what it is i remember from there i ended up basically looking at her and ended up taking out one of the mushrooms out of the bag and at that moment i looked at her and said are you sure this is a good idea she told me how everything's gonna be fine and how it won't last long if you just eat one and how i'll be okay so i remember i ended up basically eating that mushroom and i'm not gonna lie to you what ended up happening next was the most scariest thing ever because as i opened my eyes after eating that mushroom i ended up looking around and i'm like nothing happening she looks at me she's like what nothing's happening nothing's happening at all she ends up being super confused and she was like telling me how i should eat another one but then afterwards i'm like nah i don't think these work and i stood up and once i stood up that's when i started realizing things were getting messy like i am not joking every time i was looking towards something it never seemed to be there all the lines in like a rock or a tree or anything just started becoming all blurry and as i put on my glasses and push them up even more i realized that my glasses weren't working it seems so so weird i wasn't sure if this thing made me blind again i wasn't sure if you know i need a new pair of glasses but i was just so confused and everywhere i looked it just seemed like nothing was actually there i started getting really confused and i started looking at her saying what is going on and she looked at me saying oh nothing i think it's working now i think you're gonna be okay don't worry and me as i'm looking around i get even more confused and my head was not working at all it was like my eyes were like controlled by like i don't know another substance i remember at this point i was like you know what it's 
probably a good idea if I head back to the school. And I remember I started basically walking back towards the school with this girl. Now this girl, she kept telling me like directions on like how I should like, you know, basically try to calm down. You know, things are gonna be really trippy for the next couple minutes and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna lie to you, the whole time when she was talking, I didn't really pay attention to her because I was tripping out, bro. Like I didn't know what was going on. I remember it got to the point where I ended up reaching the sidewalk and I ended up seeing a woman walking by my school with her dog. Now this dog was a small dog. I think it was like a chihuahua or something. But this dog started barking at me as I was walking down the street and I started getting terrified. My heart started pumping faster. I started sweating like crazy and I didn't know what was going on. I was so scared and I didn't understand why. Like it was just a basic chihuahua. I don't know what the mushroom was doing to me, but I'm telling you right now, it made me scared of the most dumbest things ever. I remember this girl that I was with ended up basically telling like the lady to like keep walking and move her dog away and how I was scared of dogs. And basically me and this girl, we ended up finally getting back to the school. When we got back to the school, I remember before I entered my next class because the bell rang, she ended up looking at me saying, Baba, I need you like to calm down, okay? You're like, you're really being terrified right now. You need to calm down, take a breather, and just look around and understand that everything's gonna be a fine, okay? Don't overthink anything. I remember when she told me that, I thought that was the most dumbest thing you could probably ever say to me. And I ended up basically going into my next class and I sat down on my desk and I started laying back and basically closing my eyes to calm down as much as I could. When class started, I remember my teacher ended up drawing a bunch of things on the board. And to be honest, I forgot what class I was in. All I remember is that there was numbers and like letters on the board. So my guess is that I was in algebra. But as I kept looking at the board, I realized that all these letters started being all shaky, going to like a different place. In my mind, I could not stare at that board anymore. I couldn't even write down notes because every time I tried to pick up my pencil, my pencil seemed like it was falling out of my hand when it wasn't. I remember it got to the point where I was terrified and I did not know what to do. I was just like, you know what? I got to get out of here. And I remember what ended up happening was I basically ended up standing up and running out of the classroom. Yeah, I ran out of the classroom tripping balls. And I remember as I was running out of the classroom, I ran straight to the bath and just sat down and just put my head down and started basically praying that I wouldn't die. I really wanted it to end and I really wanted the whole like trip to just be over. But then I don't know where I remember my math teacher ended up coming into the bathroom and he saw how I was sitting down the corner by the urinals, basically trying to calm down. He walked up to me and said, Bubba, I have a question. Have you taken anything? I ended up looking up at him and started shaking my head. Yes. Cause I didn't know what else to reply. And me and this teacher, we ended up walking down to the nurse's office. And basically I had to explain everything to the nurse of what was going on. My nurse ended up asking me who gave me the mushroom. And I didn't say who, because I didn't want to be a snitch because snitches get stitches, obviously. And the nurse ended up shaking her head. And basically my parents got called and I had to explain my parents everything. To this day, I never took another mushroom in my life and nor will I ever, ever want to take another mushroom. But all I'm going to say is, is that drugs are scary and no one should be doing drugs. It is not a good idea. Anyways, guys, that is basically it for today's embarrassing story. Make sure you guys press that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And like I always say, follow for more embarrassing stories just like this one. Peace out, guys.